So one of our patrons asked us on how to create a very simple game, not related to the framework, but basically you just um, can throw trash into into trash cans and you need to check if it was the right kind of trash for this trash can or not. And I decided to um, create a little video tutorial on how to do that without a framework so you can follow along in Unreal. First of all, I'm using this um, new and very cool free park environment that was released, I think, last month, but it was just too complex for, for my PC here. So I decided um, to create a very little scene. So just throw some assets in there because in the end it's really just about the blueprinting part, but I wanted to have some something that looks at least not that bad and that runs with more than 10 FPS. So just throwing a little little assets in there, post-processing, some lighting, and yeah, so here's the finished scene. And now the actual fun part begins. So I have two trash cans in here, and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new blueprint class. This will be my trash can master. And we're going to create child blueprints from it for the different types of trash cans we can have. I only have two in this example, but you can have as many as you want to, if you just follow along. So first of all, I added the mesh, but I want to be able to change that mesh. So I'm going into the construction script and use the set static mesh function. And I'm going to promote this to a variable called trash can mesh. And I'm also going to expose it so I can change it in the editor. Now, if I replace the static meshes here with the blueprints I just created, you can see on the right side, I have the trash can mesh variable and I can change that. So the next thing is the actual trigger. So this will check if the, if the object thrown into the trash can is the right type of trash or not. So just using a box trigger here. And I'm going to use an enum for our trash types. This way I don't need to worry about spelling mistakes or something like this. So here I can just add the different trash types I can have. So I'm just using three here as an example. And I'm also going to add this trash type enum to our trash can. This will also be exposed, so I can also change this. And I'm going to add a text renderer just to display the, the trash type this can has. So this is really just for, for debugging purposes or to give the player some, some feedback what fits into this trash can. So I'm using this trash type enum converted into a readable string and set it as the text. So this way we can also make sure in the editor that er everything is working. So now I can change the trash type for each trash can. And if I change it, you can see the text will also be changed. Okay, nice. This is all working very great so far. We can also exchange the, the mesh here. But one thing, you can change this here in the editor, but if you want to place the same trash can again, you need to do all the changes. So from a programming standpoint, this will totally work. But what I find more convenient is to make a child blueprint out of it and do the changes in there. This way I can just drag and drop the child in there and I have all the right settings. And if I need to make changes, I can do it to all of them at once. So it's much, much easier to handle, handle it like this. But it really depends on what you want to do. So now I have my, my two uh, presets here. And the next thing we're actually creating is the trash itself. So I'm using this paper here and I'm using this logo from, from I don't know what it is, but you know, let's throw it into the trash here. And 
The paper is a little big. I'm going to change this later on. As you can see, all of them are very big. So I'm checking the scale I want to have here on the right side. And then I'm going to export it and set the scale on import. And after I re-import it, I have the right scaling. Of course, there are many different ways you can achieve this. I'm just going for this little hack here. So let's change the import scale to the scale I defined. And now if I re-import it, you can see it has exactly the scale I want it to have. So let's reset it here to one. I have my trash for the paper and I have my trash for the other one. Also, let's create a new child blueprint. This one for the other type of trash. And do some little changes in here. So this setup is ready. Let's throw in some trash here and actually start the throw the trash into the trash bin part of the game. So for, for testing purposes, I'm just going to use the simulate physics. So I'm making it the root object here. I set it to simulate physics. And now if I hit simulate, you can see the collider from the trash can is preventing the newspaper from falling into it. So this is a very bad collision. Let's get rid of it. And I'm just going to create a very simple collision for the demonstration purposes. Of course, you should do a way better collision for, for your project. But for demonstrating, this will work. So now if I hit simulate, you can see it's falling into the trash can. And we can start to implement the, the overlap event. First, I'm going to clean up the children. So they are in their own, own folder here. And now in the trash can, we hit this overlap event for our trigger box. Let's do a simple test to make sure everything is working. So I'm just getting the display name of the overlapping actor. And you can see trash master. So this is working perfectly fine. The next thing we want to give our trash the same trash type enum. So we can also define what kind of trash this is. We are going to expose this. And in this case, different to the trash cans, we want to change the actual mesh if we change the trash type here. So we will also do this in the construction script. Going to open it up. And again, I'm using the set static mesh. But this time I'm not doing it with a variable, but I want to make a switch on this enum here. So this way you can define, okay, if it is paper, use this mesh. If it is class, use this mesh. So this is really cool. I like working with enums. So let's define the two different meshes. I'm not going to use the class in this example now, but you get the idea. So now if I change this to Unity, you can see it changed. If you change it to class, nothing will happen in this case. Okay, so the next step is the actual verification. So on begin overlap, I want to cast to my trash master and I want to get the trash type. So I want to see what trash type is the trash and does it match the trash type of the trash can we are using. So this will only be true if it is the same trash type. In this case, you can um, just doing a little print string here. 
to see if everything is working. In this case, paper to paper was good, but if I change it to Unity and drop it in there, you can see, well, that's not good. And of course, the other way around. One thing you notice here is, again, the colliders are horrible. So let's get rid of them. And just using a simple, simple box colliders here to, to create a round form. Would be much easier to do something like this in your 3D application, but as you can see, it's working now. It's falling in there and you can see the right uh, print string is being triggered. So this works perfectly fine. And yeah, basically we are finished now. One thing we can add, and I'm going to do this now, is a little something that gives you points. If you throw it into the right trash can, you get a point. And in the end, if not, you will get minus points. But you don't need to do this. Just going to show you how you can add this. So it's a new blueprint. I'm simply adding a text renderer to it. This will display our, our scores. So make it 42 in size, because that's the only number you can use. And I'm going to place this in front of a bright background. And let's add some, some little logic in there. So what we want to have is the score. And after that, we want to actually display the score. So first of all, we need a variable for this going to use an integer and in the construction script I want to use this set text. I am going to use the append function from strings so I can append the score and the actual integer together and I'm also going to create a function out of this because we are going to use this multiple times let's call it something like like update text and this is really um, important that you create functions for something you are going to use in different locations so you don't want to repeat yourself i'm going to create a new custom event i'm going to call it add score and i'm simply incrementing the integer here and after that don't forget to update the text otherwise we are not able to see it and this event will be called in our trash bin. If it is the right trash type, I can call this event. But first of all, I need a reference to my, to my counter. And there are numerous ways to do this. And I also created a tutorial about this. This time I'm just um, exposing the variable so I can can choose in the editor what counter I want to use for which trash, trash can. And you can also have multiple counters for different trash cans this way. So just call it in here and hit compile. And now every time I throw something into the right trash can, and don't forget to actually pick your counter. So now every time I throw it into the right trash can, I get scores. And if, like in this example, this was the, the wrong trash can. So this will not be called here. Just clean this up here a little bit. But if it is the, the right trash type, you will get the scores. And we are going also going to add a function to remove points if you throw it into the wrong trash can. So if we change this here to the right type and throw it into the trash can, you can see I get the scores. Let's duplicate it and I have four scores. So this works perfectly fine. And in the counter, let's change this a little bit. Let's call it not add score, but something like give score. And I want to have a Boolean in there to say if it was the correct type or not. 
and only if it was the correct type I want to increase the score, but if not I want to decrease the score. So let's connect it like this and also use the score and the decrement integer this time. So the increment and decrement they just um, add or decrease one and then set a variable again so this is very handy. And also use the same function here if it is not the right type but don't forget to set the boolean. And now every time I throw something into the right trash can I get one point and if I throw it into the wrong trash can I get a minus point. So let's try it out here. Perfect. Okay, so this is also finished. One thing I'm going to change is um, I've changed the color. I changed it to an unlit material and I set to change the color to green if it is positive and to red if it is negative. So here you go. This is our very simple and little game. I hope I could show you something about enums and functions and how they talk with each other. And if you're interested in this kind of basic um, Unreal tutorials, not really related to the framework, but more general Unreal um, tutorials, please let me know in the comments. And also if you have like little ideas or, or projects you are struggling with, let me know and maybe next time I can create a little video like this for your project. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.